program. Let's get a round of applause for that adorable Kirtan we just had. So if you are new here or you have any questions or would like to make a donation, uh, please meet our friendly devotee just up at the front desk. Um, and for more information or, yeah, anything. We will now be having our spiritual talk, uh, which will be followed by our Sunday, um, Sunday prashadam, or Sunday peace, and then our 8 p.m. party. So today's talk is given by Dharam Das. He has recently joined our community and serves on the altar as a pujari. He also gives class every Saturday at 5 p.m. in Hindi. So today's talk is on the glories of Sri Vrindavan So let's give a round of applause for Dharam Das. Thank you. 
कीर्तन और हरि नाम संकीर्तन ये देख लीजिए इन वृंदावन श्रीपाद अहिंद्र प्रभु यूज टू से दैट व्हेन वी चैंट हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र ड्यूरिंग संकीर्तन और ड्यूरिंग अर जपा वी शुड चैंट ईच नेम नॉट ऑफ नॉट नॉट लाइक फुल मंत्र बट ईच नेम लाइक लेट्स से हरे राम दिन राम राम हरे हरे द एंड हरे हरे एज इफ दिस इज द लास्ट टाइम our tongue has that capacity to chant krishna's holy name who who knows who knows what will happen to us we never know so we have to chant in such a way as if this is the last time we have given this beautiful opportunity to chant krishna's holy name from this tongue right so together hare Sri Krishna Katha 
so we never know that this half hour of katha could save us from the greatest danger which might come or are there in future we never know because every every name every single name which you chant which you utter from your lips is not going to go in vain krishna's name is amog a chuk hmm? it will never go in vain single name can destroy numerous sins like sins which are not in the capacity of human beings to perform even even those type of sins what to say of of sins which what we have done in our past years or days or lives so that is some it is something transcendental this is this this everything the sunday feast all of you are sitting here i'm sitting here you know it it is not by chance it is not by chance because in in our in in, in our uh, tradition there is no such word as ittefaq ke ittefaq ho gaya aur hum mil gaye no it is all been pre planned prarabdha we use prarabdha word it was there in your karma you know ye aap likhwa ke laaye the apne karma mein ki aapko aana hai krishna ka tha mein so this is the thing so it's not ke ab kya karu mere hindi nikal hi jati hai so you know it's 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 not like that uh, that you were no you uh, you were you were not busy or there was a friend who invited you over or maybe you you want to go to somewhere else or fir socha ke chalo mandir hi ghum lete hain no 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 this is ek sochi samjhi planning hai bhagwan ki this is this is pre planned and this is a proof of saksha proof of shrimati radha rani's kripa kripa mercy is very is very is very light word in uh, in front of kripa you know that is a difference between hindi and english you know in in english chacha ji is also uncle tau ji is also uncle you know everyone is uncle and auntie and if you say someone uncle and auntie they will get insulted they 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 feel that as if you are insulting them you know and in iskon we have different Uh, tradition doesn't matter if how young a uh, woman is because our mother ji and she gets often you know what 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 to do hard times to do anyways okay so we are discussing about shri vrindavan mahimamrita vrindavan mahimamrita glories of vrindavan glories of transcendental land it is said in shastra that this transcendental land of vrindavan which is currently situated in india is not part of um, of material world it is definitely it is not part of material world that's what shri ratnapad used to say that even you cannot do bhajan you cannot do anything just go in vrindavan just stay there just by breathing the air of vrindavan one gets krishna prem that is the glory of shri vrindavan dham you know and we all are so fortunate that we are born into that country where ganga is there yamuna is there kaveri godavari you know four dhams and this big and so prema prema bhakta saints they they they, uh, they have taken birth in that holy land bharat varsha we call it yeah so we have to take advantage of it doesn't matter our, our circumstances circumstances will stay will ever stay like this you know people will say like okay let me get success first in life and then i will do bhajan or i will chant krishna's name or i will do bhakti this and that but what is success actually success is just a state of mind when we were young we used to steal chocolate from the refrigerator without knowing or we i mean we would have uh, like we would make sure that our mom is not watching us and you know once you get chocolate and success that was success you know and then like a, for a maybe for a teenage boy or girl you know bunking his classes or bunking uh, college classes and going to a movie theater is success you know so success is there is no fine definition of success there is, there will never be it all depends upon 
the circumstances, the circumstances which we are going through. Like now, when we are like all grown up and adult, now having a, um, you know, a heavy uh, bank balance in our accounts, that is success to us. But please, once in your life, go to a hospital and see the condition of a patient and ask him, what do you want? Do you want few months in which you can stand on your legs and walk peacefully, enjoy sunlight, or do you want one million dollar in your account? And I bet you he would say, I don't want anything. Even what is there in my account, please take it. But give me these healthy days. That is success. Every one of us, each one of us have healthy body. We have operating body, operating mind. We can smile. You know, which entity can smile on this earth except us? Have you seen dogs smiling ever? No? You have seen it, right? Okay, good. So, except us, and as Prabhu, uh, like our little brother said, except dogs, who else can smile? No one, you know? And in Toronto, you know, dogs wear shoes, and I was so amazed to see them. Four shoes, and tiny, tiny shoes, and you know. But, nice, good. But still, they are dogs, you know? Poor, what to do? Anyway, so this human birth is given to us by Lord Himself. Because only in this human life, one can do bhajan, one can do bhakti. These dogs and cats, they cannot do bhajan, no. Even if they want to, they cannot do it. That is bhogi yoni, and this is karma yoni. Hmm? In, this, in, this, in, this, in this life, we can differentiate between what to do and what not to do. That is vivek. And Sri Ramcharitmana says, satsang vinu vivek na hoi. Without good association, one cannot get that quality of discriminating between what to do and what not to do. Like in this crowd, many of us are wearing kanti and tilak, you know, we are devotees, right? And many of you who are still new to bhakti or maybe coming for the very first time into this temple, right? So, if we will ask someone, like a devotee, okay Prabhuji, do you think are you doing okay in your life, are you doing all right everything? So he will say, yes, I'm chanting Hare Krishna and I'm doing all right. And if we ask the same question, maybe to a student or to a uh, job person, and if we would ask him, are you satisfied with your life and are you doing okay with your life? And he would say, yeah, definitely. Paanch din kaam, do din aram, main acha kar you know? So what is right and what is wrong, how, how can we understand that? Because when, when I was not a devotee, I used to think, no, I'm doing everything all right. And now I'm a devotee, I'm wearing country and everything. Now I also think I'm doing all right. So, which type of karma or which type of lifestyle was good for me? Because I, I used to think like, when I was a non-devotee, I was doing okay. And now I'm a, I'm, I'm a devotee, still I think I'm doing all right. So what is it? Who will tell you what to do or what not to do? Because a non-believer will also think he's doing all right in his life. And a believer will also think he's doing all right in his life. So that differentiate, uh, like which thing will differentiate in it? That is Shastra. What is written in Shastra, that will tell us what is the doable karma or which karma we have to avoid. That is the thing. Right? So Shastra says, Jare deko tare kaho Krishna Upadesh. Whomever you see, you preach about Krishna Bhakti. Don't become a guru, you know, but preach about Krishna Bhakti with a humble, with a humbleness. Please chant Hare Krishna. Say, chant Hare Krishna or you'll go to Naraka and they will marinate you. <laughs> no, no one's gonna do Bhakti then, you know. No one's gonna do it. Yamraj ke tu tayyar hai, sariya leke, wo aapko tang karenge, toh bhakti kar lo abhi. No. No. That is not a way. By, you know, humbly, humbly, we can request. Because all these jivatmas, 
these souls are our brother and sister because we are coming from a super soul, Narayan, Sri Krishna himself, right? So we can humbly request them, please chant Hare Krishna, please avoid eating meat, you know, that is not a good thing for a human body to consume. It is, it is, a, it is a crime, you know, it is a crime that for the taste of our tongue, one living being is getting slaughtered. That is a murder. And, our, and we are consuming his dead body, thinking we are getting enough protein and we can build our muscles. That's not going to happen. Because what goes around comes around. It is just an intermediate song. Right? So we have to... Because, you know, like... That's why I give all these examples which is easily accessible which is easily accessible. Why? Because preaching is going on in our surrounding right now. We just have to see. We just have to observe. We have to, we have to open our eyes and our ears. That's it. This prakriti, this nature is teaching us about, about our karma, about Krishna, about our life goals, everything. We just have to be more active, you know. This whole karmendriyas has to be active. Only then we can understand which message Krishna wants to send to us. Once I was doing Govardhan Parikrama in Vrindavan and there was a lady, you know, she was, she was blooming the pathway of Govardhan Parikrama. You know, you go, you go around, Giri Govardhan, you circumambulate it. And um, I was, I was, you know, thinking of something else. Not Bhakti, of course, I was thinking of something else. And I was, I, I was also chanting meanwhile. You know, in my beat by and then I was I was thinking of something else, and immediately she said, "Bhaiya, side me ho jao, ek taraf ho jao. Please be on one side. Preaching done. <laughs> you know? So it, I mean, I it, like I don't believe that like only only a guru or only." Only a you know well dressed and you know saffron robed guy can only teach you. No, he can teach you, but also Prakriti could be a guru. She is guru, Prakriti. Like one one sentence, she she uh, told me. She said to me, and I was like, wow. Because now Krishna is telling me either I should chant properly or I should think of that material thing properly, you know. So I was like, okay. And please don't expect me that no, I I stopped chanting, I, I stopped thinking, and I and I continued chanting. No, I put the mala like this, and I start I continued chanting, continued thinking about that material thing which I was thinking. And like when I got like final result of it, then I continued. So this is the thing, when our eyes and our ears are open, this whole world is teaching us. When someone dies, what do we say? We say, wo guzar gai, wo chale gai. Kahan chale gai? Where, did he, where did he went? You know, they say that he passed away. Where did he pass? He passed through Avenue Road. Where did he pass? Dantas. Huh? Where? If if some if, if we are saying they passed, he passed away. Where did he pass? From this world to different world, paralok. So knowingly or unknowingly, we are. I mean, we we do speak such words, which says or which will make us believe that there is life after this life also. We just have to pay attention to those words because words are the foundation of every relationship. Huh? Every relationship. Like Valentine's Day is approaching, you know. One word and our life is set and one word. Down. Down. You know? And then the search will go on, play sad songs. <laughs> One word, yes. Oh, romantic songs. And one word, I don't think so. It can work out between us. Oh. 
and then and then search will go on, play sad songs, CD, play sad songs. One word, word. So word can do everything. So we we can see that a fact in this material world that words have these powerful effects. So why not this Hare? If, if 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 these words can transform our lives, you know, I do or I do not. So then why don't we have faith in these transcendental words? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Why don't we have faith in these words that they can change our life? Hmm? These words, Nam. Oh my God, 702. Vrindavan glory is another time nigal gaya. It is just we are working on foundation first and then we, we will enter Vrindavan. But we have only entered till Chati Kara. We have not entered Vrindavan now. Maybe in next class or maybe some someday we, we, will, we will try to enter. So these these words, Hare Krishna, what uh, do you like how many of you know, uh, know the meaning of Hare Krishna? Please raise your hand or or those who don't, please raise your hand. You don't know the meaning of Hare Krishna? Okay. So Hare is the potency of Lord Hari. Hara. Hara is the name of Sri Mati Radharani. Hmm? It is a pet name. You know, those whom you love, you you don't call them with their di with their official name or direct name. You know? You call them Chintu ke Papa. Papu ke Pitaji. You know, you, you call them like that. You don't call, hey Satyendra. No. Navjod. No. We, we call them with love, you know, indirectly. So it is the mood of a devotee or a Vaishnava that we are not qualified to, to, to say Radhe. No. We call her Hare. Hare Krishna. That is indirectly Hare directly is Srimati Radharani herself. So, Hare Krishna means Hey Radharani, Hey Krishna, Hey Shamsundar, and then Hare Ram. So, Hare Ram is also not Maryada Purushottam Bhagavan Ram. He is Radha Ramaneti Iti Rama. One who is enjoying conjugal love affairs with Srimati Radharani, that is Radha Raman. And, and the short form of Radha Raman is Ram. So the transcendental meaning of this transcendental mantra or Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is that O oh Radharani, O oh Shamsundar, please engage me in your devotional service. Please engage me in your devotional service. Those who want Krishna Prem, they chant this mantra, they will get Krishna Prem so easily. You know, it is like that, um, like in my high school, I always used to get afraid before giving exams. So, with any tough question, paper and you know, or and and after that, when uh, when exam used to come, and I I used to see that question paper, and everything was so easy, 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 and I got I I got uh, I used to get passing marks all the time. That is a big achievement for me, you know. So we have like. I, I don't know why people think like going back to Krishna is so difficult, you have to do this tapasya, that tapasya. I don't, I don't believe that, no. Getting success in this material world is, um, is uh, I would say, um, is so difficult. But getting Krishna brain, like this, like this. What he requires, he requires your faith. Just your wordings. Krishna has made himself so available. He says, Patram Pushpam Phalam Toyam. Hmm? But like, uh, so Krishna is saying, if you offer a tulsi leaf, a, a leaf, uh, Pushpam, flower, Phalam, fruits, Toyam, vegetables, I will accept it. So available, so available. And in material world, Gujim, Balenciagam, Pradam, and still, you know, question mark. Will they accept us? You never know. You never know. 
Maybe iPhone am? 14 Pro Max am? Hmm? We never know. So that is the thing. That is the thing. So Krishna is so making himself so available to each and every one of us because he knows that in Kali Yuga there will be there will be less wealth, there will be less intelligence, there will be less spiritual institutions. But a single leaf, a, 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 a common, a, a simple flower, everyone can offer. And it is said that um, like when you offer it, you offer it with love and Krishna will accept it. Definitely he will accept it. Because there is no less or, uh, or, or more in, in Krishna's dictionary. You offer it with love, he will accept it. Duryodhan ghar meva tyage saad vidur ghar khayo. Krishna was invited by Duryodhan on a big feast and on the same day, at the same time, Krishna was also invited by by Vidura. But Krishna chose Vidura. Why? Because Duryodhan invited Krishna with a pride. I'm inviting you. He's come. There will be Italian. There will be this, that. And Vidura said, My Lord, my Lord, please come. Please come. Please come to my house. And I don't know what I can feed you, but um, I will try my level best. You know? So Krishna reciprocated with his, with his humbleness, with his subtle bhav. Up to this date, like any, any, any saint, those who have got, gotten Krishna's darshan, or those who have, have realized what Krishna and Radharani is, has only gotten mercy of Srimati Radharani and Krishna only by their simplicity. Simplicity. Krishna doesn't want all these fancy fancy things, no. no. If he would have wanted, then he would, why, why he would have uh, said it himself that Patram Pushmam Phalam Toyam, he would have asked something, you know, big. Maybe a big, big ceremonies or big, uh, big, big fire celebration or or big feast or this and that, no. But he says, Patram, leave, and I'm there. Main big gaya hon. Patte se big jate hai, Bhagwan. See how how available he is. And now Krishna is so available, and still we chose, we choose not to do his bhakti or not to uh, um, develop affection towards him, then we are at loss. Then only, only, only we are at loss. Because there are numerous universes, in numerous universes there are numerous jivas, those who are trying their level best to get Krishna's side glance. Kripa Ataksha Bhajanam. Hmm? Ashoka Kaksha Vallari Vitan Mande Pasthite Prabhal Jwala Pallava Prabhal Runati Komale Bhara Bhayas Purat Kare Prabhud Sampada Lai Kada Parishya Sihamam Kripa Kadaksha Bhajana Just for a side glance of Krishna, everyone is trying so hard. If we are not paying attention to Krishna's words, if we are not paying attention to ourselves, Let's forget about Krishna. Pay attention to our, to ourselves. You know what, what are we? We are we are we are souls. We are trying day and hard, day and night so hard to feed this body by doing some work, by doing job, this and that. But like, when was the last time you fed your soul? Maybe never. That's why we don't feel joyful from inside. You know. Like you have everything, almost everything in your house and still someone asks you, um, okay, why are you so sad? And you say like, Pata nahi yaar, kuch acha nahi yeah. You never, like there is, there is, there is no uh, proper answer to this question. Actually, you are not feeling good because your soul is not in a healthy state. Once your soul is happy, then once the, the, the charioteer is happy, this chariot will automatically become happy. You know? Big, big, uh, this financially uh, 
uh, well doing good, um, good businessmen or these film stars or this and that they have huge bank account and bank balance still they are taking medications for their uh, mental health and this and that and still they are not happy but if you go to Vrindavan and you see a Babaji you know doing bhajan on the side of road who doesn't have a hut even a hut they doesn't have and they have like maybe maybe a couple of sets clothing clothing sets that's it and you if you would ask them are you are you doing all right are you are you happy in your life and he will say radhe radhe acha chal raha hai you know so that is the main thing that is the main thing the peace of mind and peace of mind comes from your soul from within and how your soul gets happy when it is linked to the root and what is the root root is parmatma and parmatma who is parmatma parmatma is shri krishna so let's take a vow from now from now that at least 5 minutes in a day or at least make this a habit like once we are done with shower and thing doing sadhana or chanting krishna's name will be our first task and then we'll do rest of the work maybe for 5 minutes for 3 minutes for 2 minutes and then our life will be successful hare krishna thank you so much thank you darjan das for that enlightening talk uh so now um so today is actually this year is the one year anniversary of hari bhakta vilas's passing so i'll hand the mic over to lalita priya to say a few words hari krishna um i see a lot of new congregation devotees maybe those who do not know who his grace hari bhakti vilas prabhu ji is his picture has been put at the lotus feet of shila prabhu pa he has been our congregation devotee for many many years and uh, he was a very well qualified very intelligent person from iit kharagpur he used to serve his con delhi in various ways he was a great book distributor and he dedicated his entire life for spreading krishna consciousness and when he moved to toronto he was a pujari right at our new ramana altar for many many years and he was a wonderful soul who never used to complain about anything in his life he was a man of few words always he was very happy to say hari krishna to anybody who tells him hari krishna and if you ask him how the prasad was he will say very good how are you very good durgam prabhu said like you know finding people who are very satisfied in their lives is not a uh, easy thing he was always satisfied because he was totally absorbed in krishna consciousness in his entire life and we lost this wonderful devotee to covid the last year and yesterday was the first um, death anniversary of this devotee so on behalf of we care team vaishnava care team um i would like to request all of you to chant the holy name or the maha mantra just like how is there is tadruna prabhu told you to chant it three times we can chant it in memory and show our gratitude for what he has contributed to this congregation thank you hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 So next Sunday February 19th uh, we will observe Shivratri and then we'll also have a grand two day Gaur Purnima festival on March 5th and 6th who is excited for that Haribo So there will be a special opportunity to participate in a Goranga Yagya 
and so please please stay tuned for more details. So today's piece is cooked by Mahabagwitas. Let's give a round of applause for all the cooks. So you can sponsor a feast or tea garlands to celebrate any occasion. Uh, please see a devotee at the front desk for more information. Donations of any kind are always welcome and tax receipts will be issued. Please note that prashadam is only permitted on the main floor and should be finished, um, we humbly ask that it will be finished at 8 p.m. just to prepare for the last arting of the day at 8 p.m. Today's feast is sponsored by the Shaw family for their son Samrat's uh, 10th birthday. So let's chant the Maha Mantra three, three times for this special occasion. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 